Hey, this is Rocket Brand Surgeon. Today we are hard carrying in the ME262. This is a tier 8 German heavy plane characterized by insane speed, best climb out of almost any plane in the game, and just massive guns on the plane. Now, the downside is, quote unquote, downside, is it can't really turn. But who cares about turning when you could just go to space and back? and then turn around from there when there's no one within miles of you and then dive down on some unsuspecting jerk uh, and obliterate them. I just did that to an IL-20 and now I'm getting out of there. The Spitfire 9 has picked up the chase on me but he's not nearly fast enough to catch me. However, one thing that I can do is I can let him keep pace with me. So he's about 1,400, 1,300 meters away. And I'm noticed that I'm not boosting anymore. I'm just saving my boost. And I'm just pulling him leisurely towards teammates. Once the team gets in position, they'll be able to crush him while he's single-handedly or single-mindedly focused on me. Now that he's gunning me, I just climb up as high as I can. And my team takes him down to a sliver of health. I'm a little bit late on the turn. He had actually stalled out, and if I would have been a little bit quicker, I would have caught him within the stall. As it is, I'm trying to gun him like crazy while he's in a steep dive. You can see my speed at over 800 kmh is just too fast. The plane gets a little squirrely when you're over speeding like that. And so I actually have to break off the chase, otherwise I'm going to go full potato right into the ground. Now that there are more of the enemy team that should be incoming, and there are a couple, I don't want to get too close to the ground because when I'm under that optimal altitude, I burn speed a little bit too fast, and there are three enemy uh, tier 8 heavies on the opposite team, and I need all the energy I can get in case I need to make a quick escape. So I need to save my boost, I need to keep my speed up, and even now I just kind of find myself alone with an FU, F4U, and a BF109Z. And so I have to just kind of reestablish my uh, altitude dominance over them. Again, I misjudge a little bit and I climb just a bit too high and I'm not fast enough turning around. You can see that they are both incredibly far below me. Uh, there's also an enemy 262 which I pick up and he's the one I want to get rid of. I can completely outclimb and outrun the 109Z and a lot of the other planes, but this enemy 262, if I can eliminate him, then it's really difficult for the other planes to even touch me unless they really know what they're doing. A lot of people haven't quite figured this one out yet, but it's really hard to hit a plane while you are directly behind them. And on something like the 262 or a lot of the heavies, it's not like you can high yo-yo and then re-pick them up at a different angle. The plane just will not high yo-yo enough. So I screw up and I get caught into the uh, autopilot because we went towards the edge of the map. And after that, I'm actually riding on, I've cut the throttle and I'm riding the flaps because I want to get that distance between him to make the gun work a little bit easier. And when he's turning like that, he's actually exposing more of his broadside to me. And when he's in the tight turn as he was, that lazy barrel roll of that, uh, that he's actually giving me the perfect shot. He just needs to hit the boost and bring me to teammates as best as he can. And just every inch he gets closer to teammates, that's closer that uh, I'll be to dead. But he actually fails that part. And now I am the last player alive on the, my team. And it's one versus six. My team asks, hey, can you run off the clock? We have a supremacy advantage. I immediately replied, no, it's not going to happen. So we need to lead into the next phase of the game. It's a good lineup for me to be against. It's a lot of tier seven planes. There is a catfish, the P1048, whatever, the British tier eight heavy. And I go north around on the A and B lines because I don't want to run into a big blob in the middle. And I can actually see, I spot some planes in the middle. They were just heading straight there, which I figured uh, that's what they wanted to do because they wanted to catch sight of me before I went off of radar. Now, interestingly enough, I'm not sure if they have view range because a lot of them didn't appear to see me. 
and they didn't make any moves along this way. So I spot the catfish, he's ahead, and he is leisurely making his way around. If I had to guess, I'd guess it's like not a fully trained pilot and not an elite crew and he's not running fuel because that was one slow moving catfish. So I see all of the planes and they're grouped up around anti-aircraft fire so I can hope while they're killing ground targets that maybe they'll get taken down in HP a little bit or maybe even one of them uh, will get taken down entirely by anti-aircraft fire but I can't fully rely on that so I'm going to need to do what I can. Uh, I spot a couple planes breaking off into the valley when it was just me killing that 262 and my team was inquiring you know what was I going to do I said I can't win on the clock but I'm going to wait for them to split up and then I'm going to pounce on them you can see that there are targets being attacked in C2, C3 as well as near base and everybody just spreads out uh, because they get too confident this happens all the time now it's fine that they get too confident because a player in my situation is not going to pull this off incredibly often so when I'm making this run, I'm just trying to pick off easy targets. I'm just trying to get anything that looks remotely easy. Uh, the catfish, I'm still going to gun for him if I can find him. I get myself into a bit of a tight spot and I just have to boost and juke my way up. Again, I'm not making huge tight turns. I want to put some separation in between myself and them while showing a minimal amount of my plane. I get lucky and the catfish stalled out and so I was able to eliminate him pretty easily and he stalled out at a stupidly low altitude so I don't know what was going on there. With him gone I'm very confident as long as I don't potato into the ground or run into the 109Z or something or they get a rocket or bomb killer something weird on me. Uh, again, because I can just go too fast. I can just rocket ship into space. And it's pretty apparent from how they're chasing me and when they're giving up the chase that they don't have a lot of boost or speed left. It's late in the game and they've gone through all of it. So now here you can see me pulling off the chase and the reason why is a talented t turn and burn player that can see me coming can actually dodge my dives pretty well. The easiest shots that I'm going to get are people that don't see me coming or don't react fast enough and I get spots like this yak where I can line him up from about 12, 1500 meters away. In this situation it's really hard for a low altitude slow moving plane to evade me but if I'm playing elevator going straight up and straight down at massive speeds then a player can dodge me pretty easily. I'm still keeping an eye out for that 109Z. If he comes from an unexpected location, he can just burst me out of nowhere. Uh, the biggest threat to me right now outside of the 109Z bursting me out of nowhere is running into the canyon wall. I'm not worried about getting shot down by either of these two remaining opponents. The bullets flying around me are more ornamental than anything. They're not really a threat to me. Again, I'm not turning from him. I'm just putting distance in between us, and I'm keeping my cross-section small. Whoops, there's a 109Z. Duck down, duck down. There you go. After I evade him, now it's just being careful. I have five minutes left on the clock, and I need to make sure that I play it safe enough. So I'm going to put some distance in between myself and him, and I keep checking behind me just to make sure that, yes, he's kind of following me. I don't want to lose him. And it, he breaks off the pursuit. He knows he can't climb with me, so I turn back around. And now he's faced with a pretty tough choice. He actually responds pretty appropriately, and he turns to meet me. I don't want to do a head-on against him. He has very good firepower, and he can climb enough with me. I want to reset the engagement. When he climbs, now I'm going to climb more, and we're going to try that dive again. I'm just going to keep on doing this dive. I have more energy than he does. He can't do this game forever, and when he messes up the game, that's when I can get him. 3,500 damage, 8 kills, just under 6,000 experience on a double. Seems good. Hope you enjoyed. Happy hunting.